Intriguing pet products and services have been part of the New York scene for years now as local startups and small businesses vie for attention and dollars from the folks they refer to as pet parents. There's BarkBox, a monthly subscription treat service, Match Puppy, which bills itself as OkCupid for dog playdates, and Forever Fluffy for online pet memorials. I keep thinking our local entrepreneurs are going to run out of ideas, but no, the products and services aimed at furry New Yorkers just keep coming. Some of the newest startups include VetEasy for scheduling at-home vet visits, The Farmer's Dog providing personalized pet food, and my favorite, Dog Star Life, a startup out of Cornell that's working on a tail sensor that tracks your dog's emotions. I visited the co-founder and his Midtown Incubator. It's a tiny device that goes on the tail of the dog, close to the base where the body is, and has an accelerometer and gyro, similar technology as you have in your Fitbit or your smartwatch. Emotions or states, you can say that the dog is content, you can say the dog is scared, it's aggressive, or it's alert, or it's relaxed. And those are the things that we can capture uh, based on the tail movement, and that's where we're focusing on. We are translating this with our proprietary algorithm, and you will be able to have your dog's emotional diary throughout the day, whether you are there or not. I decided to try a few of these new products and services on my dog, Minnie. Pet Plate is a meal service for dogs featuring home-cooked, human-grade food. Twice a week, a courier comes to deliver a fresh supply to your home. Founder Ronaldo Webb does some of the deliveries himself. Pet Plate started back in October when I started cooking for my dog Winston and he started reaching out to people who were excited and looking for an alternative to commercial uh, dog food. It works a little bit like you know, Blue Apron or Seamless and everything is cooked fresh three days out of the week and then delivered directly to your door. I spent some time in pet food factories and you know, you know, saw the process, you know, saw the ingredients going in and realized that you know, some people would definitely want a, you know, a healthier uh, and more real way to feed their, feed their dogs. Many chose the lamb and rice option. Another startup New Yorkers might find handy is Dog Parker. For 20 cents a minute, you can park your dog in a locked house. The cages open and close with a tap from a membership card. There's a three hour limit and you're not allowed to park yourself in the cage. The houses are monitored with video cameras so the Dog Parker staff can watch from afar. Founder Chelsea Brownridge said there will be houses and stores all over Brooklyn and Manhattan later this year. Some of the new products and services aren't quite as high-tech. Gerard Lariat, a Brooklyn entrepreneur, is offering aromatherapy pet products. His latest product is a breath freshener for dogs and cats that's also supposed to clean their teeth and gums. It might work, but Minnie really didn't want to cooperate. His next offering? Sunscreen for dogs. 